Hey everybody, it's weekly recap time. So rather than go about the videos I just did last week, just go ahead and jump into the hottest topic here. And that is the Axial SCX-10 III. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this one. First of all, it's a Jeep. So whether you like the Jeep or don't like the Jeep, the thing you got to admit has great approach and departure angles. And the fact that, you know, it is a Jeep, so they make everything for it. The body is really detailed. It's got a lot of details in it, a lot of options for lights and stuff like that. I also like how they've changed it to where the body clips are kind of hidden down in the chassis. That's pretty darn nice. So you don't have the body post sticking up and all that. However, from what I understand, they are included, so you can swap bodies and do whatever else you want with it. So it's got portal axles. So they, they, they use a similar deal as the Capra, except for the front is offset. The rear is in the middle. That's a nice touch and they're narrower. They're like the AR44 in width. So, hey, that's pretty darn good if you like scale and competition, right? So plus, you know, you get that turn and as you guys have seen with uh, Optimus 3, you can get a lot more turn out of it. And believe me, that mod is going to be done. It has inner fender wells and, you know, like floorboard things running from bumper to bumper. So that's nice. And believe it or not, it actually does keep some dirt and stuff out of there. So that's pretty nice. It can run a full size battery for guys that really want to get out there and travel or you can run a shorty for the competition guys, you know, kind of like me, right? So now the motor is really far forward. It's got a nice scale engine valve cover or not valve cover, uh, in, uh, intake cover on it. And that does pretty darn nice. It looks good on the front of it. It's got the belts and pulleys. It looks really, really nice. So yeah, I, I, I really like that touch right there. The wheels, they're a nice shiny wheel, and you guys know that I like shiny things. It's a KMC style, and the way the wheel goes together, it goes together just like the Capra wheels, the stock Capra wheels do. Uh, the tires are actually pretty darn nice looking Nitto Trail Grapplers. Um, if the compound is right, these things could actually be pretty decent everywhere, and that would be a nice thing to have. Now. It has a two-speed transmission. Now, you know, we all knew this truck was coming, but you know, we got the two-speed with the dig. So to make this thing fully operational, you're gonna need a four-channel radio with the correct buttons and options and all that. For me, I'm using a hat Fly Sky GT3C. So yeah, that's what's gonna work for me. Now, the shocks, they're just like the Capra, only they're 90 millimeters long. So, yeah, the Capra shocks are okay. So these are just a little bit shorter to fit what we've got here in this package. Now, it does have a CMS steering and all that. So, you know, more for scale and, you know, those guys that really like all that. There is one possible issue that I see in looking at the transmission gear picture that you're looking at right here. If you look at the gear selector the part that slides back and forth it looks like it's real sloppy in the first gear now the Traxxas transmission is a real tight up in there as in the gear doesn't have a lot of slop on the uh, on the gear selector so if that's the case in this transmission which I'll find out when I build the transmission you know it could be an issue we'll just have to see I've really got my hopes up for this truck. It looks good. I think we can swap the body out, get a little bit lighter, and actually compete really, really well with it. Now, the one thing that's going to be a bit interesting is the competition scene. This thing has dig in it. Does your competition organization allow dig? Or are you going to be buying a truck with all these features, get all this stuff set up just to show up? At your local competition and they say no you can't use that yeah 
I host the events and I've already had this discussion and we've got more discussion to go because they didn't even like it when I wanted to put Optimus 3 in competition, you know? Dig, dig, oh gosh, no. Well, you know what? Now you can buy it in an RTR scaler and that kind of changes things. And in all honesty, sometimes it's nice when the scale world gets tipped over. You know, things get changed around and it started with the Capra in recent times. Now, back in the day, Traxxas came out, they got the portals right, they got everything right on the money, got a great transmission and a great durable truck. Well, that was a few years ago. Now, it's Axial. Well, that's not it, but you know what I'm saying. Now it's Axial's turn to really get the market going again, so we'll just have to see how it goes. And of course, I have one on the way. Hopefully I'll get it in a timely manner. I usually get these things way too late. Yeah. It wasn't too long ago, you saw me with this truck right here. But it wasn't this truck. That was Sean's truck. I've got mine now. So, with this truck actually being mine, I can actually dig into it a little bit. And um, I've already got a game plan. It should be pretty darn awesome, so keep watching some videos. You're gonna see this thing up pretty darn soon with some mods, censored system, you know. Yeah, it's gonna get some uh, adjustments, absolutely. So yeah, we got that coming. Huh. Yep, Red Cat. That's another company that's really changing things. They have really, really stepped up their stuff. I mean, really, they're designing stuff in-house. They're just making stuff a lot better than what they have in the past. So I know a lot of guys out there just refuse to touch Red Cat. Red Cat, pff, jump. Red Cat, pff. well, maybe it's time to give them another look. They really are stepping it up quite a bit. And you're fixing to see some of this on the channel. I recently got a Red X-Max. The reason all you see is the body here is because the rest of the truck is on the table right now. I've got some things being glued in. Got to let that glue dry, but it's already getting the mods I was telling you about. Castle Mamba Monster X 8 SESC, the 800 kV motor, WFO motor mount, 45 tooth pinion gear. And yep, I'm looking at it right now, but I'm going to tell you. It should be pretty darn awesome. Can't wait to get that truck back out. So guys, at the time of this video, the entire world is going through a pandemic. The COVID-19 or coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. You know, the thing started in China. There's a lot of conspiracy theories on it. You know, this country did this, that country did that. This country didn't tell this other country, you know, I'm not really a conspiracy theorist, and this isn't really the channel to even discuss it. However, it's worldwide news right now. So, and I am currently home. I am, well, not laid off, but I am at home for a, about another week or so. So, I got all kinds of time to shoot videos. Luckily for me, I've got a whole crawler course in the backyard, and here I am lately doing big truck stuff where I've got to travel. Yeah, so I'm probably going to get back into the crawler stuff, even though I am working on some videos right now, getting them edited with the big trucks and all that. So, got that going. So, yeah, it's kind of a uh, world, world panic right now. Now, what's up with the toilet paper? My God, you don't need a truckload full of toilet paper, do you? Really? Well, when I had four women here, um, the wife and three daughters, we did go through a lot of toilet paper. But I think some of these people are just being ridiculous. Just being a bit ridiculous. However, I am pretty much staying home, staying out of the crowds and all that. I feel perfectly fine. So, and I'm sleeping late. Yes, that is nice. I will tell you what's horrible about being at home a lot. And that is 
my upload speeds at home are slow. When I put a video up, when I do an upload, I've got to set the upload for when I go to sleep and when I wake up, hey, it's done. It could take, like this video here is probably going to be, I don't know, 10, 11 minutes long. It could take two hours to upload this thing. My download speeds are also kind of slow, but my upload is just horrible. Just flat out horrible. But anyway, I got plenty of time to get some videos done. I've got a video that I've been wanting to do that requires me to pretty much be here for a lot of it because of the timing and the way I've got to put this one together. I got tons of time now, so I guess we'll see how that works out. So anyway, yeah, X Max should be up and running soon. I got a video where I put that against the Creighton box stock trucks. And it was actually kind of interesting. It wasn't such a cut and paste kind of a comparison versus or anything like that. You got the big Creighton, that's a big race truggy. You got the X-Max, that's a big monster truck, basher truck. So anyway, guys, so for right now, make sure you check that description. There are links to all this stuff, Amazon and eBay. They are affiliate links. If you have stuff in your Amazon or eBay cart, no matter what it is, if you think about it, click on one of my videos, click on one of the uh, links to eBay or Amazon, and just check out with whatever you got. Every little bit helps. So with that, um, I've also got channel memberships. $1.99, uh, $4.99, $9.99, and $24.99 for those guys that just really have a ton of money in the bank and don't mind chunking some out every now and then. Well, anyway, guys, uh, with those, you get early viewing on videos. I'm still trying to get some other stuff set up to make it really, really nice in there. Maybe even some members-only giveaways. Got to get that number up enough to where I can actually afford to make that happen. Anyway, guys, check that description. Hopefully you liked the video, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that join button and actually become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out. And as always, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching.